Hello again. Um, I'm going to answer a, a question that I've had a, a lot over the last um, week or so, um, which is what on earth is that that you appear to have stuck onto your quadcopter? Um, so in this video, um, I thought I'd explain what it is and why perhaps you might like to get one too. So let me just um, first of all remove it from the high-tech securing system. Okay, so here it is. And this little thing is a Flytrex core. And what it basically is, is a, a flight data logger, a black box, if you like, for your quadcopter. It's currently available for um, um, all of the sort of Phantom family. Um, and what it does is it sits in between the GPS and the flight control unit in there, the NASA, and this little device here records what's going on onto SD card. Um, it's also got a couple of extra sensors on here. There's a, a little uh, barometer to give a very accurate um, altitude reading, and there's a temperature sensor in there as well. And um, yeah, the installation is fairly straightforward. If you go to the Flytrex website, there's a bit of a how-to. Um, I've done it this way, which basically just involves taking a tiny notch out of the shell, the Phantom. Uh, you can use a, a Stanley knife, a craft knife, something like that. This, this plastic is quite soft. It's not very brittle, so there's not really any danger of cracking it. And you just take out enough to fit these in. I've done it that way. You can, uh, if you're a dab hand at soldering, you could snip these, run the wire through one of the underside holes and re-solder. Uh, you could even, I know people have actually pushed these pins out, um, put the wires and then reseated them in. There is a risk with both of those methods of damaging the cable. Um, so, you know, it's whatever, whatever method works for you. Um, and so, yeah, stored on there. Um, and it's stored in, a, in a, a proprietary format at the moment, and you will need to uh, go to the Flytrex website and you create an account. When you buy the core, either from Flytrex Direct or from, from they have a, a list of dealers, yeah, it gives you sort of, um, as part of that, <coughs> excuse me, part of that free access to the, um, to the Flytrex website and the, and the, and the sort of the, uh, the various things there. So if you go to um, flytrex.com, um, and here it is, uh, you'll see that there's an uh, there's introduction, um, it tells you all about the site and what you can do and uh, the different sort of controllers it works with and so on and so forth. You log in via a Facebook account. If you haven't got a Facebook account, make one. I don't do Facebook. I had a blank account that I made up just purely to log in. And here's an example of what you see. Here's my, uh, here's my current sort of stats. You can earn badges if you want to as a way of sort of tracking off your, your performance or trying to beat somebody. Uh, it gives them for various things like whenever you go over height or speed or distance. And each of the missions that you choose to make public are listed here. And you can even embed a video, as you can see. Uh, comments and so on and so forth um, and it gives us a little potted summary of your speed and so on. If you click on an individual mission like this one it will bring up the detail. You get a Google map superimposed, obviously you can look at the satellite view um, and underneath that you've got um, an actual, uh, the traces of, of, of some of the data. So here you can see in graph format speed, altitude, temperature dist um, and so on. Uh, it's actually drilled down into quite a detailed way and you can see at any one point you'll see on the map the little red dot moves to see where you actually were when you when you did that uh, uh, that particular performance um, what you can then do with that data is if you click here for example you can export it and you can export it currently as either a KML or a CSV file KML is a Google Earth um, uh, option so if you download that and export it into um, Google Earth, you will see a 3D track um, of your of your flight. I see the shadowing over the ground to, as as we climbed. Um, you'll, you'll you'll see it there, and you can obviously do the usual Google Earth panning and tilting and so on and so forth. I haven't found a particular use for that at the uh, other than looking pretty. The other the other thing you can do is you can download it as a CSV file, and that's that gives you the data in a way you can just open up with a spreadsheet or you can use something that I, I, I haven't, I don't use it myself, but others have called Dashware. If you go to dashware.net, you'll see all the, um, the, the details here. It's a 
bit of commercial software. But what it allows you to do is overlay your flight video with the GPS data. Here's something that uh, FDNY Fish has kindly said I can show you as an example of a, um, a flight video where he has matched up the GPS data and overlaid some gauges which tell you the speed and the height and the direction, whatever you want to do really. That's a fairly cool use of the, um, of the system, I think. Um, so yeah, that might be some things that you want to try. Um, I personally, I don't put all my missions on as a public file, um, uh, and, but I do log all of my missions. This stays permanently connected and permanently on and records uh, onto there. Uh, and it basically, it's a, it, you can use it like I do if you like, as a great log book. So basically, every time I switch the power on, this starts recording. Um, if I'm doing some maintenance or whatever, I just pop the SD card out and then it won't, won't record. So all in all, it's um, about $49. Uh, I think it's a great little piece of kit. Um, oh, this, by the way, I've mounted mine using 3M command strips. This is their picture hanging thing. I don't know if you can notice that. It's kind of like Velcro on steroids. It's really, um, it's really grippy. It's got a sort of strength, um, a strength that runs into the, kilograms I think so that's not going anywhere it just snaps on and off you hook it up and it sits there nicely at the back so that's the Flytrex um, I heartily recommend it go to their website see all about it see if it's something you think you you would like um, as I said installation is very straightforward it's unplug one cable and insert another and it the whole thing weighs about 10 grams for this board and another 5 grams for the cable inside so for 15 grams of extra weight it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool little tool. So anyway, I hope that's answered the question as to what that thing is hanging off the back of my, uh, my vision. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.